In this demo, we're going to create a new Microsoft Teams personal tab by using the Microsoft Teams Yeoman Generator, Visual Studio Code, and App Studio. Developing Microsoft Teams apps requires a Microsoft 365 tenant, Microsoft Teams configured for development, and the necessary tools installed in your workstation. For the Microsoft 365 tenant, follow the instructions in the Microsoft Teams documentation on how to prepare your Microsoft 365 tenant for obtaining a developer tenant if you don't already have a Microsoft 365 account. Make sure that you have also enabled Microsoft Teams for your organization. Microsoft Teams must be configured to enable custom apps and allow custom apps to be uploaded to your tenant in order to build custom apps for Microsoft Teams. Again, follow the instructions on the same Prepare Your Microsoft 365 Tenant page that I previously mentioned. You'll use Node.js to create a custom Microsoft Teams app in this module and in this demo. The exercises and demos in this module assume that you have the following tools installed on your developer workstation. Node.js version 12 or higher, NPM version 6 or higher, Gulp version 4 or higher, Yeoman version 3 or higher, the Yeoman Generator for Microsoft Teams version 3 or higher, and the latest version of Visual Studio Code. You must have the minimum versions of these prerequisites installed on your workstation in order to complete this demo. So we're going to start by opening up a command prompt. I'm going to go to the directory where I want to save my work. So I'm going to do that inside my dev folder. And then I want to create a new folder where my project is going to go. So I'm going to create one called Learn MS Teams Tabs. And then I'll just go ahead and jump in that folder. Now I'm going to start the Yeoman Generator by typing in Yo Teams. So Yeoman is going to start and ask me a series of questions. Uh, so let's go ahead and walk through each one of these. It's going to ask us what's the solution name. I'll just call this Learn MS Teams Tabs. We're going to use the current folder because we're already in the folder we want this to be created. Uh, the title of the app is Learn MS Teams Tabs. Uh, company name, we'll just leave it as default, which is Contoso. Um, the manifest version we want to use is the most recent one available, which is 1.8. Uh, do we want to do quick scaffolding? I'll just do default there. Uh, it's going to ask us what do we want to create or, or add to our project. So I'm going to leave the default option of a tab. Uh, where do you want to host this solution? This doesn't matter right now. We can change this at a later date. So I'm just going to choose the default. Uh, do you want to show a loading indicator? I'll just choose the default option. Uh, the name for our tab, we'll call this our Learn Personal Tab. Uh, it's going to be a personal tab, so I'll select that. And we don't need uh, single sign-on support for this, so I'll just choose no. Most of the answers to these questions can be changed after you create the project. So for example, the URL where the project's going to be hosted, that's not really important uh, at the time of creating and testing the project. They can always be changed later. So after we answer all the questions, the generator creates the scaffolding for the project, and then it's going to run npm install to download all the dependencies that are required by the project. Now, before we can customize the tab, let's test the tab to see the initial developer experience that we're going to have for testing. So from the command line, I'm in the root folder for my project. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the following command called ngulp ngrok serve. Now this gulp task runs many other tasks uh, that are all displayed on the command line tools that you see here on the console. The ngrok serve task builds your project and starts a local web server. And then it starts the ngrok process with a random subdomain that creates a secure URL to your local web server. So you can see that right here. Now Microsoft Teams requires that all content be displayed within a tab be loaded from an HTTPS request. So in development, this can be done by using the tool ngrok that creates that secure routable URL to our local HTTP web server. Ngrok is included as a dependency within the project. So there's really nothing set up uh, that we need to set up and configure for this. So we can see that our web server is now running and we can also see that we have our tab right here on the index page. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up uh, our browser. And in the browser, I'm going to navigate uh, to our site, which I grab that, I'll grab that URL that was shown just a moment ago. So there's host name, I'll copy that, go to HTTPS and that URL right there. So now we can see we're actually requesting uh, the URL of our site or of our uh, locally hosted web server. And we're getting it through our ngrok uh, secure uh, routable uh, URL. 
Now I'm going to update the URL in the browser so I can load the actual tab that was created by the scaffolding process. So as we can see there in the console, that was in the learn personal tab index.html. So I'll go ahead and grab that and I'll paste that in and we can now see what our tab uh, looks like. So here you can see the page can determine that it is not running within the Microsoft Teams client. So we have that message where it says not in Microsoft Teams. Now let's load the tab in Microsoft Teams. So what I'm gonna do is come over here to uh, Microsoft Teams. So I'll go to teams.microsoft.com and it's gonna automatically sign me in as my currently signed in user. So I'm signed in um, as this user, uh, Megan Bowen on my, on my test tenant. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and I'm gonna install the app. I'm gonna select the upload uh, custom app and I'm gonna upload it for me or my teams. So in the dialog box that appears, I'm gonna go select the app package uh, that is generated uh, by the uh, Yeoman generator and by our project. So this is it right here. They have the learn.msteamstabs.zip. It's gonna be inside of the package folder uh, in my in my project. After pack, after the package is uploaded, uh, I can now see a, a view uh, of my app. And what that just did by clicking the add button, that's going to install uh, my app. Now notice when the content page is loaded in the tab within the Microsoft Teams client, it displays the entity ID property of the tab, not the message, this is not hosted in Microsoft Teams, as you saw uh, when you viewed the content page in the browser. The tab can detect if it's loaded within Microsoft Teams client by using the Microsoft Teams JavaScript SDK. Now the next step is we wanna make some changes uh, to our project. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uninstall the project by right-clicking the app uh, inside of my more apps. I'm gonna uninstall the app by right-clicking the app I come over here into my more apps page. I'm gonna right click on this and I'm gonna choose uninstall and then click uninstall again. Uh, that's uh, presented to me. So now I've uninstalled my app. Now let's come back over to our console and I'm gonna go ahead and stop the process uh, from running. So now we can implement the user interface for the tab. 